Hi, this is Matthew Campagna from TheTurningGate.net, and I'm looking at TTG Pages. If you're already using TTG Pages, then you probably know that the web engine puts out a home page, about page, contact page, and gallery index. Uh, and the purpose of the engine is to create the general architecture for your website. Uh, it's to create the framework in which your image galleries are going to live. Uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, if you want extra pages beyond the default home about contact and gallery index pages, how do you create those? How do you create extra pages for things like uh, press statements or a price list? So what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial is leverage TTG pages to create those additional pages. Uh, and what we're basically going to do is we're going to export uh, TTG pages more than once you, with different page setups and then we're going to copy those files into one place so that we have a larger website. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and set up uh, just a very basic default uh, instance of TTG pages using a lot of dummy text. Uh, I've made the gallery items and the page headings very large so that they should be easy to see in this video. Um, and so I've got a home page, a gallery index, an about page, a contact form, uh, pretty standard. So the next thing I'm going to do is, because I know that I want to add a press page and a pricing page, I'm going to scroll down uh, in the site info control pane to find the menu items, and I'm going to turn on menu items 3 and 4. Now menu item 3, I'm going to name press, and I'm going to target that at press.html. And menu item 4, I'm going to call pricing, and I'm going to target that at pricing.html. Now, press.html and pricing.html don't exist yet. Um, we're just creating empty menu items that are going to go to those locations, um, and we're going to make those pages later on. So with that done, I want to go over into my template browser, and I'm going to create a new preset so that later, if I want to come back and change these pages to update my website, I have a record of them, and I can, I can recall them very easily. So I'm just going to call this home and about and save that um, again just so I can recall that at a later time and then I'm going to export and put those in a folder on my desktop now at this point I'm gonna press cancel just to save time in, the, in making this video I've already done that and here it is in this pages folder um, so now that we have that out and on the desktop, we get to start changing things. And I'm going to change my home page, and I'm going to make this into press. And then you can change the, uh, the copy, which I'm not going to do to save time. If you want to change the layout, uh, you can do that as well. Just go down to the color palette control pane and uh, maybe put the image on the right and the copy on the left. Um, you probably want to choose new images. Um, so go into your film strip and select three new images. That way your new pages aren't going to have the same images as your previous pages. Uh, so press is done. Now I'm going to go over to my about page. And I'm going to rename that pricing. And again, change the copy. Put in your price information. Make sure you have a different image. Um, and that's it. That's going to be my press page and my pricing page. Now because we haven't done any changes yet, remember that these are still mapped to home and about. So you have to click on the home and about links in the menu to go back and forth while you're making changes. But once those are done, uh, go ahead and make a new template. I'm going to call this one press and pricing. That way, if I want to come back and update my press and pricing pages at a later time, I can just recall that template. And again, uh, just to double check, go up to your menu. You can see we still have press and pricing links because we're still using that same menu that we put together when we did our first preset. Um, so once this is finished, you hit the export button, export that into a, a second folder, I'll just call it press, um, and stick that on your desktop, which again, I've already done. So I'm gonna hide Lightroom now, and what I have uh, are my, my is a folder for my first export and a folder for my second export. Now if I go ahead and launch my uh, my home page in Safari 
you can see that I've got my home page and my about page. But if I go to press or pricing, I get a file not found error. Um, so the way we get it to fix that is we go into that second export and we change index.html, which is the home page, and we make that into press.html. And then we get the about page, about.html, and we call that pricing.html. Then copy these two files into that first export folder. Um, and then uh, we also want to open up the photos folders in both and make sure we copy those images. That way those new pages will be, still be able to, to use those. So we're finished with the, uh, the press folder. We can go back over into the, the pages folder and once again take a look at our website. So when we click on these items now we have a press page, a pricing page, an about page, a home page, contact form and a gallery index. Um, and if you want to repeat this process again to add yet more pages, you can do that. You can do this two times, three times, four times to get as many pages as you want. Um, and again, just make sure you save that template preset for each so that you have records of those pages that you can go back and you can modify at a later time if you want to update those pages on your website. Now, please keep in mind uh, that this technique will only work for the home page and about page. Uh, you can make multiple contact pages if you want, although I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, you cannot make duplicate gallery indexes this way. Um, that's just its own thing. It has its own rules. And if you want to have more than one gallery index, you're going to need to use TTG Auto Index, which is a separate web engine. Um, and also if you are embedding flash galleries, on your pages uh, using the stage options in TTG pages on your home page and about page that's no problem on any additional pages that you create uh, you may have to open those files up in a text editor locate any references to the folders and change the names change the target locations so that you have different folders for each page and that gets a little complicated so unless you have more experience doing uh, web design and this sort of thing, you might want to stick with images on those extra pages. But uh, that's basically all I've got for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and good luck constructing your website.